Hello everyone, my name is Neeraj and today we are going to see how auto loading works in Rails. Here I have a standard Rails 3 application and in the lib directory I have two files car.rb and jeep.rb. car.rb is a plain vanilla Ruby class. It has a class method called info where I am printing class car plus jeep.info and at the bottom I have put us car.info. Let's look at jeep.rb. Jeep is a plain vanilla class. It has a class method info where it returns jeep. Now let's try to execute ruby car.rb I'm getting uninitialized constant jeep error so what's happening is that in the car class I am referring jeep but that jeep constant is not here well we can fix it easily I added require jeep and now if I go and do rubycar.rb I get the message jeep is being loaded and then I get car and jeep so this works let's go to app models and here we will look at user.rb it is a, a model which is a, a subclassing active record base. It also has a class method info in which it is returning user plus comment.info. Let's look at comment. It has put us loading comment at the top. It is a class which is returning comment in the method info. Now let's try to do user.info in a script console. Here I'm executing user.info and notice that I got the value loading comment which was from comment.rb and then I get the message user comment. The fact that it worked is not a big surprise. What I want you to pay attention to is the fact that in the user class, I am not requiring comment. We previously saw that car needed to require jeep in order to reference jeep.info, but here user is referencing comment.info but it is not requiring comment cl class so what's happening behind the scene well rails is doing a little bit of magic and that magic is called auto loading some of you might be knowing a technique called method missing in ruby similar to method missing there is something called const missing. What happens is that anytime a constant is missing, then const missing method is invoked. What Rails does is that Rails has further enhanced const missing, just like method missing, and anytime a constant is missing, it starts looking for a file by that name in its autoload directory. Now what is autoload directory? Autoload directory is the directory from which Rails autoloads files. By default in a Rails 3 application these four directories are autoloaded directories. In our case 
the constant comment is missing. When the comment constant is missing, then Rails starts looking for comment.rb file in these directories. As Rails goes through each of these directories, it finally finds comment.rb in app models and it requires that file. So that is the reason why we did not have to require comment.rb. Rails did it for us behind the scene when comment.rb was missing. Whatever I described, Rails does all those things through active support dependencies. And now let's go and try to see how Rails is doing all this magic. So what we will do is we will go to our controller, users controller, and at the top of the users controller, we are going to add these two lines. Now let's go and start the server. Okay, now that server has started, let's go to 3000 slash users. We get the return value user comment. Now let's go and look at the log. Here in the log, you can see that we have a lot of message because of that statement that we put in at the top. The first thing you'll notice is that it's saying that loading application controller. After loading application controller, it is loading application helper. Then it's saying new constant application helper. So what's happening is that Rails is registering that these constants have been loaded from the auto load directory. Then it goes and loads comments helper and then make, it makes notes of new constants comment helper, then new constant users helper. And going further, it also looks at users controller, user, and new constant comment. So see, it's saying here it's called load missing constant comment and then it's saying loading this comment and then call new constant and finally it loads comment.rb and then the request is processed after the request is processed see this these messages it removes all the constants which were auto loaded so in this case, it is removing the constant application helper, comments helper, users helper, application controller, users controller, user, and finally it removes the constant comment. Because these constants are removed at the end of the request cycle, now if I go and make some change to comment.rb, then we If I save this file, I come back to my browser and if I refresh here, I see comment to instantly. The reason why I see comment to instantly is because upon the next request, the comment class is loaded again. And the reason why it is loaded again is because at the end of the previous request cycle, comment was unloaded. I hope that explains why in development mode in Rails, we are instantly able to see the changes. We are able to see the changes instantly because at the end of the request cycle, all the auto loaded constants are removed. Since those constants are not present on the next request, those constants are loaded from the file again. And because of that, all the changes we made, they are reflected. Now let's discuss one more example. 
here I am in lib directory and I'm looking at pencil.rb. Pencil is a plain vanilla class with a class method named info where it returns pencil. I have changed user.rb to reflect pencil.info. Now if I go to browser and if I hit refresh, I get this message uninitialized constant user pencil. In the terminal, I get the same error, name error uninitialized constant user pencil. So user is not able to pick pencil class. Why is that? That is because pencil class is residing under lib. And previously I showed to you that Rails will look for the missing file only in these directories. So how do we ask Rails to search more directories? In this case, we want Rails to also search lib directory so that pencil.rb file could be found. We can do that by going to config application.rb and we can uncomment this line. Notice that at the end of the line, I have config.root slash lib. So here I'm saying to Rails that to the config auto load paths, add the lib directory. Since we are making a change in application.rb, we need to go to terminal and we need to restart the server. And now if I go to browser and hit refresh, I get the value user pencil. Here under app models, I have developer.rb. The developer.rb file has a class called senior developer. It has a class method info where it returns senior developer. Let's look at user.rb file. User.rb is returning senior developer.info. Let's go to browser and let's hit refresh. We are getting the message uninitialized constant user senior developer. If we go to terminal, we get the same message, name error uninitialized constant senior developer. So what is the issue here? The issue is that we have a file called developer.rb, but that file contains a class senior developer. When Rails starts processing this file, it comes across the constant that is missing is senior developer. Since senior developer is missing, Rails starts looking for a file named senior underscore developer dot rb. But as we know, the name of file in this case is developer dot rb. It is not a standard a naming convention. So what can we do in this case? In order to fix the problem in this case, we can do by adding the line require dependency developer, we are asking Rails to load the file called developer. And now let's go to browser and if we hit refresh, 
we get the result user senior developer and if we go to terminal here we can see that rails has at the after processing the cycle it removed the constant senior developer so it so it must be loading the file developer.rb somewhere and that that thing is here called require or load developer.rb it looks at the file developer.rb and then it registers that there is a new constant senior developer so if you are following the non-conventional naming convention then you can make use of something called require dependency to still take the benefit of auto loading I discussed this auto loading technique that Rails uses and that is very helpful however to confuse the terminology a little bit Ruby has a method called auto load and the reason why I'm saying to confuse a little bit because this auto load method in Ruby has absolutely nothing to do with the auto loading that I described so it's just the terminology but uh, this auto load method is also very useful and we are going to see that now Ruby has this method auto load and what it says is that it registers the file name to be loaded the first time that module is accessed so what does that mean so let's see an example of it here we are back at our car and Jeep examples so previously we fixed the problem of not able to find Jeep class by requiring the Jeep class now let's say that there is a change in requirement and I do not need Jeep.info now if I go to terminal and here if I execute ruby car.rb then I'm seeing the message that Jeep is being loaded the reason why I'm seeing this message that Jeep is being loaded is because at the top of car.rb I'm requiring Jeep and Jeep class has very first line put as Jeep is being loaded well I'm not making use of Jeep and I'm loading I'm requiring that Jeep by requiring the Jeep class I am not doing any damage to my system there is nothing wrong with it except that it will take some time for that execution to run because now it also has to go and do the extra job of requiring Jeep which is not needed in this example where we have only two files car.rb and jeep.rb there will not be any performance penalty the performance will not degrade by much but in a framework like rails where a lot of files are needed if rails starts requiring all the files all the time then it will take significantly more time to boot the rails server in, in order to ensure that the file is loaded only when it is used we can make use of auto load feature provided by Ruby so here I'm going to refactor this code by commenting out require and instead I'm going to say auto load Jeep Jeep now let's go to terminal I'll do ruby car.rb we got our response but see this time we did not get the message that Jeep is being loaded so what it meant is that since Jeep is not being used so Jeep was not loaded just to conclusively prove it, prove it we are going to start using Jeep.info 
now let's go to terminal and if I do Ruby car dot RV I see that Jeep is being loaded so it means that when Jeep is actually being used Jeep class will be loaded and if Jeep is not being used then Jeep will not be loaded so this improves the execution time of your of your code a lot let's look at active record file from rails code itself and if you look at this active record.rb file you will see that it has a lot of autoload command autoload active record error all the way from autoload relation and then there are so many autoload statements autoloading all these different modules and classes so once again this autoload command has nothing to do with this autoloading technique which uses actually const missing but this autoload command is useful in improving the boot time of your code that's the end of this screencast if you have any feedback send it to me thank you